Now we move on to the process of elongation, where we produce a growing and lengthening polypeptide chain based off of this mRNA transcript that we have. In order to do that, let's review. Remember, first we had to form the initiation complex with both ribosomal subunits, the mRNA and the tRNA coding for methionine because that always corresponds with the start codon of AUG. Elongation involves the catalytic function of the ribosome. The ribosome is essentially what they call a peptidyl transferase. And what that means is it transfers a peptide. And so it basically allows us to add the already existing chain of amino acids to a growing peptide by moving these tRNAs from one site to the next in order to facilitate this process. So in order to understand the elongation part of translation, you need to know the three sites of the ribosome. There's the A site, which is the amino acyl site. There's the P site, which is the peptidyl site. And there's the E site, which stands for exit. So it goes A, P, E, and that's the path that the tRNA will take as it moves along the ribosome. Now, these names can be helpful if you understand the organic chemistry behind why they got those names. But I think it's easier to think of them instead as A being the arrival site, P being the pass peptide site, and E still being exit because that's a very good description of what this site does. And so the way the elongation process occurs is that the tRNA coding for your next codon, the codon that is found in the A site, that tRNA will arrive and it will bind, its anticodon will bind with this codon. And this is CCU, it happens to correspond with proline, but it could be any amino acid. And so that arrives in the A site. This thing remains in the P site. And then the elongation process involves passing that peptide and all of these shifting one spot over. And so what will happen is because of the ribosome acting as a catalyst, you'll have a process that involves the usage of GTP. So we'll just draw a GTP there. That's a lot like ATP. It's a triphosphate with a nitrogenous base. This one is guanine here. And what will happen is the GTP will be used up as the tRNA in the P site passes its peptide over to the A site. And so it will detach from the tRNA that is in the P site and it will pass that over to the thing in the A site. Now the way that this happens is that the GTP catalyzes this, it, it uses some energy. And as this occurs, as the P site will move over to the E site and it will get ready to exit. And this, at the same time as this pass is occurring, the one in the A site will move over to the P site. And so essentially it's all one concerted process. It happens in concert. And the, all of the things that occur is that the tRNA will move over to the E site and exit as it passes its methionine residue over to the A site. During that process, as the P moves over, and as the A moves over, now what we'll end up with is this tRNA will end up now being in the P site and it will have both the methionine and the proline attached. So these all happen at once and notice that this transfer all occurs while these things are shifting positions in the ribosome. So basically the P as it moves over to the E site will pass its peptide over to the A site. As that's going on, the tRNA and the A site will now be moving into the P site and so on. And so what happens during the elongation process is that whatever one is in the P site is going to be the one that holds this peptide chain, this chain of amino acids. And as the P site moves over to the E site, it will pass it over 
to its neighbor in the A site, which will be the new occupant of that peptidyl position. And so this continues on and on. And as this red one moves over here into the peptidyl or P site, then some new tRNA will arrive to the A site. And then as that shifts over, it will pass this methionine proline to the new and growing protein chain. And so elongation is a very concerted process. All of these things are happening at once. They're shifting. The one that was in the P site will be exiting. And during that process, it also transfers its large chain of amino acids over to the one that was in the A site and is now moving into the P site. And so this is all happening at once. And this process runs continuously until you get to termination. And as this occurs, you continue to grow a larger and larger chain of amino acids. Thank you.